Alrighty, folks. Voyage of the Grey Goose. Potentially. Uh, okay. Wireless. Got a motor. Now, can we get some air on? It's been. Don't know how this works, but. Oh, there we go. Alright. That works. Alright. This is the first actual voyage of the Grey Goose. Oh, guess it isn't. Now it is. Okay. Or I should say the first electric voyage of the Grey Goose, because it did have petrol voyage prior to her being uh, taken off the road. Let's 
head for the motorway. What could go wrong? Okay, folks, good news is we passed the test. So, what I am going to do is let's have a look at our statistics before we do anything else. I know you folks just love statistics, so let's go for Wi Fi. 
see if we can connect to our yeah e46 vcu really Thing. Thank you. Connected. Now let's get a web page. These phones, lads. Unbelievable stuff. Jumping around. Too busy telling me things I don't want to know. Now let's see. So let's get our key on. And we got some uh, numbers here. Okay, so we drove 12.3 miles and we have used 3.9 kilowatt hours or 10.53 amp hours from our battery, according to this. Uh, let's do a quick refresh. All right, right, 380 volts. Uh, yeah, 3.9 kilowatt hours, so there you go. So, all right, let us head for home base, and we'll see, uh, we'll see what we get. Uh, there, let's do a little bit of air. There we are. Uh, for those of you that are interested, no, I don't have the heater fitted yet, but we will soon. Probably fit the heater during the summer months when we don't need it. That's usually what we do. So what's that if I used four kilowatt hours to go 12 miles? What's that, three miles per kilowatt hour? Am I right in thinking that or am I gone nuts again? Three fours would be 12, wouldn't it? So yeah, a little bit less than, yeah, three kilowatt or three miles per kilowatt hour so about 333 watt hours per mile not bad for an e46 touring um, with no aero mods and two very uh, on must not word for it on fuel efficient tires on the back I've got two good fuel efficient tires on the front, but I've got two kind of no namers on the back, unfortunately. From when it, uh, I took the car up here when it was still petrol powered for the test, and one of the rear tires, well, both of them were quite bad, but one of them was so bad uh, that it, it had a kind of a golf ball sized lump in it, and uh, basically the choice was that I just had to get it changed almost immediately even before driving the car home um, so there's a tire place around here and uh, they didn't have much in stock uh, certainly didn't have, any, have anything of, that I normally get uh, so basically ended up just getting uh, whatever they had and put them on the back But uh, the two fronts then, I got two Hankooks, I think they're a B fuel efficiency uh, on there fairly recently, just before, uh, well actually in the last week or 10 days, so that worked out well. The guy said to me I could probably do with replacing the rear discs and pads. Um, which kind of makes sense, I guess, because as I say, our brakes have been quite rusty uh, just with the car sitting for pretty much two years now. But yeah, other than that, we passed. Woohoo! This is quite a hill, so I'm going to. No problem to her. Oh yeah, effortless. Effortless. So given my tachometer is reading twice what it should be. Uh, 65 miles an hour, 5th gear is 3,000 
RPM, not 6,000 that you're, uh, that you're seeing here. So that's good. where I have to be super careful now because there's a tow bar on the back of this one, factory fitted, I might add. Yeah, but I want to be just super careful that we don't uh, implant that tow bar into the land yacht because the land yacht would be very annoyed with me if I did that. Now, yeah, that'll do us. All right. All right, let's have a look at the statistics. Let me guess, it's disconnected from the friggin' Wi-Fi. And now it'll probably connect to the house Wi-Fi. No, what's it doing? Why did it turn off the Wi-Fi? I didn't ask it to turn off the Wi-Fi. But that's okay. All right, let's refresh. All right, refresh. Yes. So, 24.4 miles according to the odometer. We have consumed 21.78 amp hours and 7.93 kilowatt hours. Our battery is currently at 365.87 voltas. Uh, temperatures, 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 temperatures. Okay, the inverter heatsink is at a total of 1414 degrees centigrade. The motor is at 20, 20, and the DC, I guess the High voltage junction box reported uh, by the ISA shunt is at 16, 16 degrees centigrade. So there we go, folks. Um, so what's that? Call that 8, 3 8 24. So theoretically, we could go 70, 70 miles, maybe something like that. Probably a little bit less, but we could definitely do 50, 60. So that is. Perfect, and that was motorway, kind of mixed motorway as you've seen there. So, all right, folks, I'm going to leave you there. Um, I'm going to go sort myself out, and we will see you back for the next goose episode uh, fairly soon. Um, so, as always, don't forget to dislike, uh, don't share, unsubscribe if you're already subscribed to this stupid channel. Um, don't forget to check the links in the description for Patreon and PayPal in case you want to financially support this craziness, but yeah, don't. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, also links in there for Open Inverter Forum, uh, GitHub, where you can download all of my hard work for free. Um, JLC PCB, where you can go get them made and what else what else i think that's about it about it so i am a happy camper i'm going to wrap this up and until then happy wiper blade correct fitting <laughs>